AI-generated images are the new norm in today's world and are everywhere. It seems like everyone is now interested in AI-generated videos. Even though the technology is still in its early stage, companies like Google and Meta have already published their research papers on AI-generated videos. This is how AI-generated images started. They didn't look great in the beginning, but then it became hard to differentiate them from non-AI-generated images. Meta said that it has figured out how to teach an AI to create original video content based on text input. The result is a still-in-development generative tool called Make a Video. Make a Video research builds on the recent progress made in text-to-image generation technology built to enable text-to-video generation. The system uses images with descriptions to learn what the world looks like and how it is often described. It also uses unlabeled videos to learn how the world moves. Meta is quick to say that the technology is still in the research phase and not anywhere close to being available to the public. Make a video uses publicly available datasets, which adds an extra level of transparency to the research. Meta is openly sharing this generative AI research and results with the community for their feedback. In order to safeguard its 3 billion users from harmful news and disinformation, Meta has struggled to get its AI systems up to the enormous challenge. The company is now driving the development of live-action video. Do you think its own artificial intelligence for content monitoring identifies an AI-produced video on its platforms? A Reddit user created this animation using an AI-generated photo and a real video as a driver for the image. The idea behind this is to be able to use a single photo of a person that is AI-generated and create several new photos from new angles and with new expressions so that it can be used to train a model. If you are interested, then I have a link in the description to the Reddit post. Runway is an AI-powered video editing platform. The company has been involved in the development of the text-to-image AIR generator Stable Diffusion, and according to Esser's tweet, it sounds like text-to-video generation will be added to Runway's software. The company's platform has several features like adding effects, moving objects from video. All you have to do is select the object and import whatever you want with a prompt, and there are numerous options for the same prompt. There are several magic tools in this platform that several video editors who got early access were impressed by the software. Another software called Synthesia can produce videos from plain text in a matter of minutes. All you have to do is choose an AI avatar from the more than 70 available options, compose your screenplay in one of more than 65 languages, and select your narration style. There are various helpful templates included, you can add background text, and you can even import your own images and videos. These avatars are digital twins of actual individuals, just as their voices are. For a more natural appearance, they recently incorporated a better version of micro gestures. This can be applied to engaging instructional videos, how-to or product marketing videos, and more. On August 2022, the team behind Google's advanced DeepMind neural network unveiled a new ability dubbed Transframer, which allows AI to generate 30-second videos from a single image input. After predicting a subject's surroundings using these context images, it then shows what that target would look like from various angles. By using machine learning to create digital surroundings rather than more time-consuming rendering techniques, Transframer may one day open up an entirely new market inside the video game industry. Days after Meta debuted Make a Video, Google and Fanaki debuted their own video makers. Google highlighted its work on image and video, a text-based AI system that can produce video snippets. While the results aren't perfect, the looping clips the system generates tend to have artifacts and noise. Google claims that image and video is a step toward a system with a high degree of controllability and world knowledge, including the ability to generate footage in a range of artistic styles. Image and video builds on Google's Imogen, an image generating system similar to OpenAI's Dolly 2 and Stable Diffusion. To improve upon this, the image and video team plans to combine forces with the researchers behind Fanaki another Google text-to-video system that can turn long, detailed prompts into two-minute-plus videos at a lower quality. A lot of questions remain about generative AI imagery in video, and there are concerns for a lot of reasons. Some people fear that such power could be misused, with the same fears caused by deep fakes. We've already seen edited images shared on social media as news, but what will it be like if it gets to the stage where AI can create convincing images and videos showing anything? So what do you think?
Will AI-generated videos create a whole new industry? Or will this create more problems? Comment down below. If you watched this far, a like would be appreciated. Thank you.